So um, I used to have this on my Omega Seamaster, but now I have um, the exact same thing that costs seven times the price. Is it worth it? Kind of. It's been a few weeks since I have had my Omega OEM mesh bracelet for, it's basically for any watch that has 20 millimeter uh, lug distance, um, but it is the exact same thing as this one that I made a video on in the past. This one I bought off eBay for a hundred and 30, $120. This one out the door cost, it was like 800, just right around $800. An absurd amount of money. But there is one main little tiny, tiny detail that makes this watch worth, in my opinion, the full price of that bracelet. I believe that I talked about it in my video when I made a review on this bracelet, but where the mesh meets um, the end of that bracelet, where the spring bar goes in, it kind of starts to separate and you can like see through it a bit more than you can in the rest of the watch. You can just tell that you kind of get what you paid for in a way. But on the flip side, on that exact same part of the strap, on the very bottom of it, right where the holes are, the quality is... I would say equal to the Omega branded one. But this little tiny section right here where you can like feel the grittiness of it, that is not present on the Omega one. And for that reason, me being the type of person that I am, just a freak with attention to detail, that makes all the difference to me. They both feel and kind of like flop in the same way. The clasp is very, very similar. The main difference being that on the eBay one, the entire clasp is brushed, but on the Omega one, there is polishing on the edges. And if I'm being honest with you, I prefer the brushing to the polishing because polishing shows scratches so, so, so much more than brush does. And brush just makes it feel more tooly and like bashable. And that's what I love in a watch. The eBay clasp is a little bit more loose and wiggly in comparison to the Omega one but what's actually funny is i almost want to say that the clasp is just better on the ebay one than the omega one when you kind of hold it by the front or like you even just like tap on it there's only a tiny little bit of play in the clasp whereas on the omega one it moves like you can't i don't know if this is doing justice at all but you can hear it it's way more wiggly like the, the deployant clasp itself is way more wiggly right here than on this one. It's just more solid. I was kind of surprised, honestly, when this came in and I saw that. So in that respect, I'm honestly gonna say that the eBay bracelet has a better clasp than the Omega one, just in terms of like my personal little OCD things that I don't want in a bracelet. And one of those things is sounds and noises like this. For $120, if you want a bracelet to go on any 20 millimeter watch and you like the way that the Omega one looks or you like the way that the No Time to Die James Bond looks, I'm honestly saying just get this. It's in stock all the time, $120, $130. In some ways it's better. In the finishing department, it's worse. But if you can look past that little tiny attention to detail of this being more split than on the Omega one. This eBay one is honestly just a no-brainer. But I mean, all in all, I don't regret buying this bracelet. The analogy that I kind of justified myself for why I'm okay with having this. When I had this on my watch, it felt like putting the cheapest possible low-end tires on your BMW M4. And this feels like putting it on like nice Pirellis that you spent a lot of money on. It's maybe not needed at the end of the day, but on a watch that is considered to be luxurious, I also would prefer to have a bracelet that is considered to be luxurious. And that's why I went with this at the end of the day. But if you don't care about that, the eBay one is actually really good. eBay bracelet, really good. Omega bracelet, super nice but so expensive. I also forgot, let me, let me show you the packaging that the bracelet came in. It comes in this really cool red kind of Omega carrying case. And on the inside, when you open it up, it has a little Omega, I don't know what you'd call this, like a, just a 
thing and it came with the spring bars and that's really all it came with on the inside was this and spring bars but just the presentation and what you get it feels luxurious for the price you'd spend which i would of course hope that you got that but it did come with this maybe if you want to bring like watch tools with you when you're traveling somewhere to change bracelets or something i don't know maybe this could be useful that's my ramble on spending way too much money on a bracelet but Thank you for watching. I need to go and like make some money so that I can not be hurting so much.